So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, what I wanted to do is show you two settings that I came across that's gonna free up everything running in the background off your Android device. Now this will work for your Chromecast, it'll work for your on 4K streamer, it'll work for your Nvidia Shield TV. So this video is not gonna be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so again, if you have a NVIDIA Shield TV, if you have a new on 4K streamer with Google TV, or even the 2021 on 4K streamer, this should work. And of course, if you have your Chromecast with Google TV, this will be a good option. So we know that resources are limited on these streaming devices, but what if you can turn off everything that's running in the background? That's not necessary for the operation of your device. So this is exactly what we're gonna find today. We're gonna turn off these two settings. That's gonna free up space in the background and just help your device perform a lot better. So in order to get this going we are going to need to enable developer options so the google tv is going to be a little bit different than android tv so i'll go through both ways to get developer options up and running so on your google tv what you're going to do is go to your settings we're going to click on the gears icon we're going to go all the way down to system go over to the right go down one to about go over to the right again and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the Android TV OS build. So once we get there, what we wanna do is click on that seven times. Uh, this is gonna enable developer options. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see it says you are now a developer. All right, so once we see that pop up, we're gonna go back one and scroll down a little bit and we're gonna see developer options right here. So here we are on the Video Shield TV and a little bit different layout than we see on the um, Google TV. But again, both of these are running on Android base. So a lot of this is gonna look familiar. So to enable developer options, we're gonna to go to our settings. We're gonna go down to device preferences. Again, we're gonna scroll all the way down to build and we're gonna go ahead and click on that seven times. All right, same pop-up, you're now a developer. Once we see that, we're gonna go back one, and if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we should now see developer options. Again, like I said, this will work on any Android TV device that you have. If you have the Nvidia Shield, any of the, the earlier on 4K streamers, you should be able to get to those options from here. Now that we got developer options enabled on Android TV and on your um, Google TV, we're going to go down and like I said, there's a lot of settings on here. I did go over um, some of the display settings that's going to make your system run faster. I'll go ahead and link that video as well. I'm going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to the app section. All right, so here we are in the app section. So the first setting is uh, don't keep activities and below that it gives you a little um, definition of what's going to be done so it's going to destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it so so no more leaving an application and wondering whether it's still running or not once you turn this on as soon as you leave the application the application is dead and you can go about your business so the next one is the background process limit so the background process limit uh, does what it says and it does give you a couple options as you can see you have a couple options that you can choose from it is on standard and uh, just reading up a lot the standard mean that it can allow up to 20 um, processes in the background so that's a, a number to keep in mind but generally it goes off how much ram your system has um but you do have some options here guys you can um keep it at standard you can set it to zero processes set it to one two three and four but I've been playing with this and um, for the most part, it's been working well for me and I haven't ran into any issues yet. I read somewhere that some people say you might wanna leave it to three or four, but I'll just keep playing with it and see if anything comes up and see um, if I need to go back and maybe adjust it a little bit. So in the comment section, let me know what you guys think of these settings. Like I said, there's so many options on Android TV, on Google TV, just to keep your system running over time. And this is another one that I think is very helpful especially for folks that's complaining that their system is starting to show their age again if you haven't seen that video where i talked about the display settings i'll go ahead and link that in the description also leave some links to the new on 4k streamer 
Chromecast or Google TV, as well as the Nvidia Shield in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.